I'm Tohan Canley. I'm a professor of psychology and psychiatry at Stony Brook University in Long Island, New York. My, uh, my research spans a number of different areas of interest and a number of different scientific fields, in fact. Uh, I'm trained as a psychologist, um, primarily as a neuroscientist, behavioral neuroscientist, looking at the brain basis of, uh, of memory. And over the years, that interest has developed to include um, individual differences in emotion, emotional memory, personality, and social cognition, and has further uh, developed to include areas of genetics and gene environment interactions, molecular biology, neuroimaging, and psychology. So over the years, I've become uh, um, probably best known for my uh, brain imaging work on personality traits and on gene environment interactions. What I wanted to do now, and what I'm really excited about, is taking all of that work and moving it into uh, a domain of sort of the big questions of our time, um, because we do live in very interesting times. And uh, I recently started a new project. It's called the Mind Brain Center on War and Humanity. And um, let me unpack that a little bit for you. The, uh, the questions that I'm interested in that are related to war have to do with individual differences in how people respond to and process traumatic war-related experiences. And so that includes essentially three groups of people I am particularly interested in. Uh, war veterans, refugees, and former child soldiers. And these are very distinct groups, and uh, they have different um, uh, stratifications. They are located in different parts of the world, but they all share sort of a common experience of war-related traumas. Some people respond differently to these traumas. Some people are fine and move on with their lives. Other people develop anxiety disorders or depression. Some people internalize their aggression and become suicidal. Others might externalize their, uh, their aggression and become homicidal. So what explains this wide range of individual differences? I think you can look at it through a lens of integrating uh, across levels of analysis. You can think about somebody's family history. You can think about somebody's social environment. You can think about somebody's genetic predispositions and the interaction of all of those factors. So those are some of the questions that we are interested in. Um, and that's where the mind-brain part of our center will focus on, understanding what is the neural basis of these individual differences in behavior, cognition, and emotion. The humanity part of the center will deal with questions that are related to the human condition in times of war or political strife the kind of thinking that leads up to those times, the kind of thinking that is expressed during these times, and the kind of thinking that follows war or political strife. So this includes a lot of different topic areas. It includes questions like, how come that some people have a very difficult time, or maybe most people do, have a really difficult time of updating their political beliefs in the face of objective data? Um, how come some people are susceptible to become seduced into extremism and extremist ideology when others are not, even though they may face similar circumstances of uh, living conditions? How come some people are capable of great acts of um, empathy or forgiveness in the face of uh, personal tragedy and injustice when many others are not? Those are the people that we often call peacemakers. Uh, what makes these people distinguished from others? So we're trying to understand those kinds of questions at the level of the mind, the brain, and all of the influences that shape them, both social, psychological, biological, and genetic, neural. And, uh, and uh, this is obviously a huge task. It's one that will involve a large network of uh, people and that's exactly what the center is doing. I'm bringing together a network of uh, scientists, practitioners, healers, policy people, psychologists, and 
also people with lived experience. That is going to be a very big part of what we're trying to do. And um, that's my passion uh, from now on. I have a feeling this will be plenty of work to fill the rest of my uh, professional and personal life.